Good morning, my friends. There's something powerful about mornings, isn't there? In the quiet of the dawn, we're given a blank canvas, a fresh beginning. Every sunrise is a reminder that we, too, can start anew, regardless of yesterday's troubles or tomorrow's worries. Today, I want to share with you how a mindful morning can transform your life, and why the way you begin each day shapes the entire journey. When I was younger, there was a wise elder in my village who used to say, the morning light is a gift, it's the world inviting you to awaken with purpose. He taught me that if we can W in our morning, then we have a good chance at winning the day. At first, I didn't fully grasp what he meant. But over time, with practice, I began to understand the sacred value of those early hours. Let me explain. Section 1. The Power of Intention. Each morning, as I wake, I sit quietly for a few minutes and set an intention. I ask myself, how do I want to feel today? What kind of energy do I want to carry into the world? You see, setting an intention is like steering a ship before it leaves the harbor, it's about knowing where you want to go. Now, I encourage you to try this as well. When you rise, take a moment, sit quietly, and decide what kind of day you want to have. If you seek peace, affirm it within. If you wish for clarity, invite it in. When you begin with purpose, the mind starts to align with that energy. Even if the world around you is chaotic, you will carry a calm center within. Section 2. The Ritual of Mindfulness. Another lesson of come to cherish is the importance of rituals. Many people rush their mornings, moving from one task to another without pausing. But what if, instead, we approached our morning routines as sacred rituals, as chances to connect with ourselves? For example, I begin each day with a simple practice of mindful breathing. Just a few moments, breathing deeply and noticing each inhale and exhale. This act is small, yet it reminds me that life itself is breath, a gift, renewed with each passing moment. So, I invite you to incorporate a ritual into your mornings. It could be a quiet walk, a moment of gratitude, or simply sitting in silence, letting yourself, be. Do you know what I realized after adopting this practice? That I no longer needed to seek peace. Peace became a part of me because I had set aside time for it, nurtured it, like watering a plant every morning. And over time, that plant grew, even when life was challenging. Section 3. Reflecting on Priorities and Purpose. Another important part of winning the morning is understanding what truly matters. So many people wake up and dive into their emails, messages, or social media. They hand over the first precious moments of their day to the demands of others, to distractions. I encourage you to think about what is truly important to you. Before you reach for your phone, ask yourself, what do I want to focus on today? What will bring me joy, purpose, or growth? For me, it's my morning study and reflection, a time to deepen my understanding and connect with wisdom. It grounds me, reminds me of the values I strive to live by. So, I ask you, what is your purpose? What are the things that matter most? If you can anchor your mornings in purpose, you will find that your actions become more intentional, and your day gains a sense of clarity and direction. Section 4. The Habit of Gratitude. Before the day gets busy, I always practice gratitude. The world is rich with beauty and wonder, yet how often do we take it for granted? This morning, as I walked along this path, I marveled at the colors of the leaves, the coolness of the morning air, the song of a distant bird. Such small things, yet they hold so much meaning if we open our hearts to them. Try this with me. When you wake up tomorrow, find three things to be grateful for. It could be as simple as the warmth of your bed, the chance for a new day, or a loved one's smile. Gratitude shifts our minds from what we lack to what we have, and this simple act brings joy into our hearts. Once, I met a young man who felt deeply unhappy with his life. He had so much, but he couldn't see it, he was always focused on what he didn't have. I shared this practice of morning gratitude with him, and he took it to heart. Over time, he began to find peace, even joy, because he realized that life had already given him so much to be thankful for. Section 5. Carrying your morning energy into the day. Now, what good is a calm morning if we don't carry its energy with us? Imagine you're holding a gentle flame, a spark of peace, clarity, and purpose that you cultivated in your morning routine. Your task, as you go about your day, is to keep that flame alive. Throughout the day, remind yourself of your morning intention, breathe deeply, and return to that calm place within. 
Let your morning practice become a well that you can draw from, especially in difficult times. So, my friends, if there is one thing I can leave you with today, it is this, win your morning, and you will win your day. Start each morning with purpose, a calm mind, and a grateful heart. Set your direction before the world can choose it for you. Life is precious, fleeting. Make each morning count. Thank you for being here with me today. If this message resonated with you, I encourage you to make a commitment, a promise to yourself to start tomorrow differently. And if you feel so inclined, share this message with someone else, for we all deserve mornings that bring us closer to who we truly are.